You might think that a golf ball is just a golf ball and doesn't really have an impact on your game. That's kind of what I thought before I actually tried the right ball for my game, and it actually does have a big impact on how you score. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about what type of ball a beginner or higher handicap golfer should be using. Now over the years, I've been able to test out a number of different golf balls, and we're going to be basically talking about whether or not you should be using a 2, 3, 4, or 5 piece ball, how much spin you should have in your ball, and then what compression ball you should be using as well. I'm going to be talking about the best options in my opinion, and also the cheapest place to pick them up. But before we do get started, I will just mention our gear giveaway. If you want to enter in, we're going to be doing it every 5,000 subscribers. Simply subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment giveaway down below. Do those three things and be automatically entered. So let's start off by talking about what ball compression you should be using. They do come in a bunch of different designs and you have the choice of picking between a one to five layer ball. Each of them does have their pros and cons and if you are a beginner or higher handicap player, you're gonna wanna stick to a two piece golf ball. This type of ball is mostly gonna give you the straightest shots with the most distance. They're also gonna be cheaper than a three, four and five piece ball, which is another plus. The main thing you should be focusing on is hitting more fairways and greens. And I do think these balls will help with that. If you do try to use a ball with more layers, you're probably gonna get more spin on your shots. And that extra spin is gonna make it easier to hook or slice the ball, like big curves in your shot. And that's gonna decrease your distance. I actually still do use a two or three piece ball myself and I'm perfectly fine with the way they perform. But basically when you do become a better player, you might want the extra spin, but right now it's definitely something you don't want. As for the other type of balls, a one piece golf ball, they're used at like driving range or you know mini golf, that kind of thing. They really shouldn't be used on the course. Three piece balls are kind of similar to two piece, but they have a bit more, a little bit more spin to them. Four piece balls are used for by like, you know, scratch golfers or tour players and five piece golf balls kind of take what the four piece has and adds to it. So lots of spin, generally like a higher compression, that kind of thing. So definitely not something you want to use. As for the amount of spin you want to have on your ball, if you are a beginner or higher handicap, you're going to want to use a low spinning golf ball. We talked about this in a previous section, how spin's going to you know, make the ball curve a lot more and it's not going to be good for your game at all. So when you do have less spin, you're going to be able to get more distance on your shots. And the reason is that they're going to fly a lot straighter. Like I was saying before, when you do start getting better, you're going to want a decent amount of spin. You want to be able to control like the, the height of the ball, the shape of the ball, how quickly it stops on the green, all that kind of stuff. But right now, just focus on the basics and hitting it straight down the fairway and a low spinning ball will help you do that. Now, should you use a low or high compression ball? And compression is basically the amount of force it takes to properly compress the ball. But in my opinion, if you are a beginner or higher handicap, you're gonna to wanna to use a low compression golf ball. It's gonna help with distance and keeping your shots straight. A lot of like weekend golfers I see, they're using the complete wrong ball. They're playing a pretty much like a mid to high compression ball because that's what they see on TV. Some people can get pretty good distance out of them, but most of them are gonna have a big curve to their shot. If you don't have if you don't have a swing speed of like over 95 miles per hour, you're simply not gonna be able to compress a higher compression ball enough. Your distance will suffer and you'll get a lot of curve in your shot. So take into account all that, um, those three things, which golf ball are gonna be best for beginners and higher handicaps. And I have tested out quite a few over the years and these are gonna be my personal favorite. You might have to try out a few different ones to see which one will work for you. But the first one is gonna be the Callaway Super Soft. And this is the softest and lowest compression golf ball from Callaway. It's one of the more forgiving balls I've ever hit and that's why it's great for higher handicap players. The compression on it is around 40. The spin rate is low and it is a two piece ball. Next is gonna be the Shrixen Soft Feel. And this is one of my favorite balls and it's actually the one I'm using most often right now. It's not as forgiving as a super soft but it does offer a bit more control. It's a two piece ball with a compression somewhere around 70. It is designed for a lower amount of spin off the tee it does have a nice soft feel to it, so it's going to be it's going to be good for a player who does hit it fairly straight, um, but you do have a faster swing speed. This might be a good ball for you. Um, next to me, the TaylorMade Noodle, and this is a ball that's overlooked by a lot of golfers, and I don't really know why. It's one of the cheaper balls on the market. It's around like a buck per ball, but it still performs really well. If I am playing in the winter and lose a lot of balls, like from getting plugged in the crown, that kind of thing, then I'll use either these or the 50 Elite from Wilson, and they've always done the job for me. 
The next ball is going to be the Titleist True Feel. And if you are a fan of Titleist products, these balls should perform the best for you. They're the softest ball that, that they make and they're going to be best for beginner players. They're a two-piece ball with a lower compression. Don't know the exact number on it, but they are considered low. They do have a softer feel to them and are designed for low spin off the tee. And the final ball I'm going to recommend is the Wilson Staff 50 Elite. And these are another overlooked golf ball and they're actually the cheapest on the list. If you are on a budget or you don't want to spend like five bucks per ball, these could be for you. They're a two-piece ball with a compression of 50, you know, hence the name, and they are designed for low spin and they're going to help you keep the ball in the fairway. If you would like to see a demo, more reviews, or get any of these for the lowest price available, click the link in the description down below. At the time I'm making this video, that was the cheapest place I could find it. If you do have any questions, simply leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you haven't already watched and commented on our latest video, click the video card to the left and get yourself another entry into our golf giveaway.